It is sad but true that for years, some people have been using storm drains to dispose of their wastes. Some people see storm drains as free, convenient trash cans. Storm sewer systems aren't like sanitary sewers. Sanitary sewers take waste from bathrooms and kitchens and clean them up by sedimentation, filtration, and disinfection. Storm sewers, on the other hand, do not treat or clean up anything passing through them. Storm sewers are just pipes and ditches designed to channel clean stormwater runoff away from urbanized areas. Everything that enters a storm drainage system is eventually discharged into a stream, river, lake, or bay in exactly the same form as it entered. One of the responsibilities of municipalities that operate storm sewer systems is to prevent what the EPA calls illicit discharges. Illicit discharges are any discharges of non-storm water, which is virtually anything that didn't originally fall from the sky, into or through the storm sewer. When illicit discharges enter surface waters, they can injure or kill wildlife. They can suffocate plants and fish, destroy breeding and nesting areas, make game fish inedible, cause algal blooms that consume the oxygen in the water and make the water unsafe for swimming or recreation. Illicit discharges have also been responsible for temporary shutdowns of drinking water treatment plants. Many of us see one of the most common sources of illicit discharges every day, trash that didn't quite make it into an outdoor dumpster or trash can. Paper, plastic, cardboard, packing peanuts, and the like are easily washed into the nearest storm drain inlet by the next storm. You may have seen or heard about other bad practices, like dumping used motor oil, engine coolant, or cigarette butts onto the street or down the storm drain. Like rinsing soapy water from a car washing area into the street. Like cleaning floor mats, filters, paintbrushes, screens, mops, or other items outdoors using a storm drain to dispose of unwanted garden chemicals like fertilizers or pesticides, or for pet wastes, leaves, grass clippings, or car ashtrays, is just like dumping these wastes right into the nearest stream or river. Everyone in town has a responsibility to dispose of wastes properly, in the trash for solid wastes, down the sanitary sewer for sanitary wastes, in the yard for car wash water, at the nearest household hazardous waste facility for hazardous wastes, but never, never down a storm drain or into the street. Then, we all have a further responsibility to help stop any illicit discharge from occurring anytime or anywhere. Our role in this is, first, by telling our family and friends about illicit discharges and the harm they cause to the environment. Then, on top of that, we can all stay alert to spot and report illicit discharges occurring in our neighborhoods. The best place to spot an illicit discharge is at its source, at the inlet, catch basin, drainage channel, or ditch where it first enters the storm sewer. Be on the lookout for things like stains on storm drain inlets and in open drainage channels. Used oil, paint, radiator coolant, and many other pollutants leave easy to spot discoloration. Another dead giveaway is empty containers on or near a storm drain inlet or by the roadside. Those containers were probably emptied into the storm drain. If you see a pipe or a hose leading into a storm drain, someone probably uses it to dispose of waste frequently. Illicit discharges can also be spotted at outfalls. Outfalls are where storm drainage systems discharge into surface waters. One important sign to watch for is the appearance of the water. Pure storm water or snow melt is clear and bright. If the discharge has any color, if it is dark or cloudy, or if it has a persistent foam or scum floating on top, that is not just storm water. Runoff contaminated with raw sewage often has a gray, greasy appearance. Runoff with gasoline in it may show a rainbow sheen. Then there's the odor. Outfalls should not have any smell. A raw sewage smell could be from a leaking or clogged sanitary sewer line which passes above or near a storm drainage pipe. And, now this is really important, report any obvious or suspicious discharges to your local stormwater authority. 
The information you provide can directly and quickly eliminate a major source of surface water pollution. Call your local public works or engineering department, or just call the main number for your city, town, or county and ask who's responsible for stormwater. Are you ready to help?